Lewis. My name's Dave Lonigan, Arctic Film Productions. This is a bit of footage I took in uh, Greenland, in the Arctic, early this year. Drone footage. Beautiful place. Um, it's well worth a visit. Now, what I want to talk to you today about is uh, um, climate change, fossil fuels, and in particular, my home country, Australia. I'm an Aussie. I live in Queensland, up the north. Now, each of these red stickers you see on this map of Australia signifies where there's a coal mine. Now, coal mine's a fossil fuel, right? Now, uh, there's actually more, I ran out of red stickers. Um, the interesting thing about uh, coal mining in Australia is that obviously it, it generates a lot of income, there's a lot of royalties go to the Australian government. Uh, it's between 7 and 12 per cent, depending on what grade of actual coal that is, there is that they're exporting. And we use uh, coal in Australia for electricity generation. Now, 80 per cent of all the electricity generated in Australia is from coal and 10% is from natural gas and 10% is um, renewables, the main um, offshore gas gas fields right here in the north. Now, uh, something to think about in the case of Australia is that it has the highest solar radiation rate on the planet. So that means the potential to generate power from solar, which is a renewable, in Australia is higher than anywhere else in the world. But we don't actually use it in any large degree. Of all the power generated in Australia, 0.1% is derived from solar power. Now you think, that's just crazy because we have so much sunlight, we have so much um, potential to harness that renewable energy, and we're not using it. The policies in place in the federal government, they're very much pro-coal mining. And from government to government, they've uh, pushed coal mining uh, because of the royalties that are coming in and it, it obviously it stimulates the economy because there's more money coming in and it employs a lot of people but in the long term you're creating a long term problem. We don't, uh, gen we don't uh, use all the coal in Australia that we dig out of the ground. It's exported all around the world. It's high grade coal so it's in demand but <clears throat> what do they do when they, when they, when they take it somewhere else? They, uh, they use it for electricity generation and it's a fossil fuel. So as soon as you uh, continue to access fossil fuels for power generation, you're creating greenhouse gases, so you're increasing the air temperature heat-wise, right? And if you're increasing the, uh, the ambient temperature around the entire planet, it's, it's gone up, I think, 1.75 to 2.5 degrees Celsius over the last uh, 80 years, depending on which study you read, they're all a bit different, but it's, it's going up. They're all saying the same thing, the figures are going higher and higher. Now, it's not showing any, slides of, any signs of slowing down. Now, of course, what happens when you increase your temperature around the entire planet is that you're speeding up the melt of the, uh, of the Antarctic ice uh, in the Southern Hemisphere and also the Greenland ice shelf, this is where I, this is here. Um, in Greenland, 85% of the land mass, and it's a pretty big country, is covered with an ice cap and it's dissipating into the North Atlantic Ocean. So the fresh water going into the salt water creates another, another problem with salinity. I'll, I'll get to that in another show. Um, it's interesting, right around the planet, we are seeing an increase in our access, our use of fossil fuels, not a decrease, because the population's increasing, development's increasing in um, you know, developing countries. They're obviously uh, harnessing more energy than they were 10 or 15 years ago. But <coughs> coming back to Australia, um, there's some interesting variations here in this country. South Australia, it's one of our southern states, 60% of all power generated there is a renewable, which is great. Um, and so it's a step in the right direction, but that's the state government doing that, not the federal. Now, the same as in Victoria, I think it's about 23%, and the New South Wales is about 24%, Queensland's quite low, it's about 11%. WA, which is surprising all the coal mines, um, a lot of their power is generated from, from renewables. It's around 19 or 20 percent. I did look it up. Now, Tasmania, our most southern state of Australia, 60 to 70 percent of all power generated and used within the state of Tasmania is from renewable. It's, it's generated from hydropower, which is water going through turbines. Now, uh, that's a renewable, so there's no, there's no greenhouse gas. There's no, there's no emissions, which is great. But as a whole, Australia is using 90% uh, of its power generating, its primary energy source that it's accessing, is a fossil fuel. And what we don't burn ourselves, we're exporting all around the world. Um, it, it'll be interesting to see, well, I think we're going to see it certainly over the next 10 or 15 years, 
what happens to um, uh, countries like Greenland and the Antarctic and, and the Arctic regions where the ice, is, uh, the ice caps are melting quicker than ever before. And then you have the other problem with the permafrost in northern Canada and uh, Siberia. And right, uh, the permafrost is the ground is frozen, but it's holding a lot of methane gas in the ground. And as you increase the air temperature and the ocean temperature, you speed up the, the thaw of that permafrost. So you're releasing more methane into the atmosphere, which is 83 times more damaging than anything we could possibly do. Uh, it's well worth thinking about, and I, I, I think things need to really be stepping up into a change in direction, getting away from fossil fuels. It's a very slow transition, and it's not going to happen overnight, but we'd like to see some changes. I think we all would. Um, I'll be back in, uh, in Greenland October this year. I'll get some more footage, and I, I'm going to be interviewing some of the local um, Greenlandic people and what their thoughts are on, on climate change and what's happening. I, I think they'll be well aware of the situation with the ice cap in Greenland and, and, and the potential uh, danger of that as it, 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 leaks in, it leaches into the North Atlantic. And uh, we'll have a chat with those people and uh, talk soon and thanks for watching.